Happy New Year for 2012. I'm Peter Saunders, Chief Executive of Christian Medical Fellowship. The British film's Iron Lady this year and The King's Speech last year have been widely acclaimed and have sparked a lot of discussion and reflection about Britain's history. But I wonder if, like me, you were particularly encouraged by two speeches over the holiday period, the Prime Minister's speech and the Queen's Christmas speech. David Cameron, in a speech to mark the 400th anniversary of the King James Bible, paid tribute to Christianity's influence on British history through language, literature, music, art and law. But the Queen went even deeper, focusing on the reconciliation and forgiveness that comes through Jesus Christ. As Christian doctors and medical students in 2012, we face many ongoing challenges as we seek to follow in the footsteps of Jesus Christ, the great physician, and his call to preach the gospel and to heal the sick. Political and economic chaos, increasing hostility to Christian faith and values, and growing health needs, and all of these have an impact on us both personally and professionally, especially in the face of shrinking budgets and constant reorganization of the health service. The need for us to stand together and to stir up one another to love and good works has never been greater. CMF exists to provide you with the connections, opportunities, resources, training and support that will help you to fulfill your own personal calling in working out God's great commission. Let me tell you about some of the new events, resources and developments for 2012. This week at St Paul's Cathedral in London, Christian leaders gathered for a special memorial service for the Reverend Dr John Stott to celebrate and give thanks for his astounding legacy to the church. John Stott's classic talks on serving Christ in medicine are now available through CMF. Also just published is Foundations, our new comprehensive survival guide for junior doctors, packed full of articles, testimonies and questions covering just about every issue at the interface of Christianity and medicine. And then there's Unwanted Same-Sex Attraction, which was sent to you with your Christmas mailing. It deals sensitively and biblically with issues of pastoral and counselling support on a challenging area for the church. All these resources and many more are available via the CMF website. And please pray and, and please come to one of our two key national conferences this year. On 10th to 12th of February, about 400 will attend the National Students Conference at Swanwick with John Lennox speaking on the theme of Joseph, Chief of Staff. Also at Swanwick on the 27th to 29th of April is the CMF National Doctors Conference. This year's theme is Heroes of Faith with Bible readings by Pablo Martinez, Spanish psychiatrist and popular international speaker. There are many more details along with booking information on the CMF website. CMF's big new project this year will involve upgrading our website to help provide you with better personalised access to connections, opportunities, resources, training and support that's right for you. Every CMF member will have a personalised page with secure access that will help you to connect with Christian medics in your locality, workplace, church network and specialty and to enable you to access information and support that's specifically tailored for you. Watch this space. Please keep praying for CMF's influence in public policy through Parliament, media and the institutions. We really rejoice that CMF, through the Care Not Killing Alliance, was able to marshal a very effective campaign aimed at discrediting Lord Falconer's Commission on Assisted Dying, which reported last week. The issue is not going to go away, but the opposition to any change in the law in both Parliament and in the medical profession remains very strong. This year we face fresh challenges too. Please pray for us as we work with media and parliament to promote independent counselling for women with unplanned pregnancies, to oppose the legalisation of presumed consent for organ donation in Wales and to resist attempts to change the legal definition of marriage from one man, 
one woman for life. We'll aim to keep you informed of all the very latest developments and tell you what you can do. Do remember CMF and your support for good Christian causes. Like most Christian charities at this time, we are struggling to maintain income and our Christmas appeal for students has fallen over £50,000 short of its target. So if you're intending to give but haven't yet done so, it's not too late. Finally, please remember to pray for CMF staff and the many members who serve on our committees as we seek to serve you this year. And please be assured too of our prayers as you seek God's wisdom, enabling and blessing to bring glory to Jesus Christ in 2012.